Pratima from Planet Physiology. Today we shall learn what is the effect of posture on blood pressure and heart rate and how to record it. The aim of today's practical is to study the effect of change in posture on blood pressure and heart rate in a given subject. For this practical, your theoretical knowledge regarding definition of blood pressure, factors affecting blood pressure and its regulation should be clear. For this practical, we need sphygmomanometer, stethoscope and stopwatch or any routine watch. Before we proceed to the procedure, I assume that you know how to record blood pressure. Let us see how to proceed. Ask your subject to be in supine position for 5 minutes and relax. I have explained the procedure to the subject briefly and I have asked him to relax for 5 minutes in supine posture. After 5 minutes, measure his resting pulse rate for complete 1 minute. Palpate radial pulse and count the rate for enter 1 minute. After that, wrap the cuff around the arm and measure blood pressure. First determine blood pressure by palpatory method. Pigmo manometer which I have here is the battery operated one but its principle is exactly same like mercury manometer. So, I am measuring his blood pressure first by palpatory method. and now by auscultatory method. So, I found that his blood pressure is 110 by 70 millimeters of mercury in supine posture. So, this is our baseline value in resting supine position. As you are recording each value, immediately note it down in the observation table. This is the observation table. Now, ask the subject to stand up. So, I am detaching the tubing from the manometer. Place this manometer at the height so that once the subject stands up, the manometer will be at the level of heart. So, instruct the subject to stand up. Now, attach the tubing to the manometer and immediately determine blood pressure in standing posture by auscultatory method. Blood pressure determination should be done within 30 seconds after standing so that we can see the effect clearly. Immediately after determining blood pressure, count his pulse rate again for entire 1 minute.
Now I found that his blood pressure is 104 by 74 millimeters of mercury and pulse rate is 82 per minute. Now wait for 2 minutes to be completed. This 2 minutes time is after person stands up. So immediately when person stands up start your time. Measure the zero time reading both blood pressure and pulse rate immediately after standing. After 2 minutes are completed again determine blood pressure as well as pulse rate. Now after 2 minutes of standing his blood pressure is 108 by 74 millimeters of mercury. I am counting his pulse. Now his pulse rate is 80 per minute. Now we have to wait till the completion of 5 minutes after standing. So now 5 minutes are completed. So again I am recording his blood pressure. And this time his blood pressure is 108 by 72 millimeters of mercury. Now again we will count the pulse for entire 1 minute. And now reading is 77 per minute. So this is the observation table and what we found is that when compared to supine resting values immediately on standing there is increase in heart rate, decrease in systolic blood pressure and increase in diastolic blood pressure. Then after 2 minutes heart rate was still higher compared to supine value. Systolic blood pressure was still lesser than the supine value but compared to immediately on standing it has raised that means after 2 minutes blood pressure is raising towards the normal value. Diastolic blood pressure is still towards higher value but again it is moving towards the normal value and after 5 minutes the values return back to normal. So these are the changes taking place in heart rate as well as blood pressure when we are changing the posture from supine to standing. Now let us see the physiology behind these changes. Immediately on standing blood is pulled in dependent parts of our body due to gravity. This decreases venous return and hence cardiac output. As cardiac output determines systolic blood pressure, systolic blood pressure also decreases. Standing requires contraction of muscles. As a result, arterioles in the muscles get compressed leading to increase in peripheral resistance. And peripheral resistance is determinant of diastolic blood pressure and so there is rise in diastolic blood pressure. These changes in blood pressure are immediately sensed by baroreceptor system and it sends now lesser number of stimuli to the vasomotor center leading to increase in sympathetic stimulation. It causes increase in heart rate as well as force of contraction of cardiac muscles. Both these factors heart rate and the force of contraction determines your cardiac output and hence there is increase in cardiac output and hence systolic blood pressure. Since the gain of baroreceptor system is low, rise in blood pressure does not come back towards exact resting value 
but it approaches towards the resting value and this is what happens after 2 minutes of standing as sympathetic nerves also innervate arterioles there is peripheral vasoconstriction increase in peripheral resistance leading to increase in diastolic blood pressure hence the changes in blood pressure that are observed after 2 minutes of standing are mainly mediated by baroreceptors these changes return to normal values within 5 minutes so this is the normal response of the body to change in posture from supine to standing but if we see the gradual changes that is from supine to sitting and from sitting to standing we will find that similar changes are taking place but the magnitude of change will be less so these changes we may not record because to note the changes we have to record blood pressure within 30 seconds after the change in posture and it will be difficult for students especially the first year students to determine blood pressure so quickly and therefore to note these changes we are asking you to note the changes in blood pressure from supine to standing now we have noted here that for a normal person the fall in systolic pressure was less but if fall in systolic blood pressure immediately on standing is more than 20 mm of mercury it is known as orthostatic hypotension or postural hypotension the important feature of orthostatic hypotension is person complains of giddiness or fainting on sudden change in posture from supine to standing why this happens it happens because of reduced sensitivity of baroreceptor reflex as seen normally during old age or due to autonomic neuropathy to avoid fainting because of orthostatic hypotension these people are often advised not to stand from supine posture instead they should first sit for some time and then stand up this prevents greater fall in blood pressure and hence it prevents fainting this is all about today's session thank you if you enjoy my sessions press the like button and share it with your friends if you haven't yet subscribed my channel press the subscribe button to get notifications about new releases press bell icon thank you for watching and see you in the next video